Shalom, Israel. I'm back. Yes. So we need to turn away from that, Israel. I mean, like I said, we're already awakened. The time is now. Okay. We don't have time to be playing games. But it's only a remnant of us, so it's only a small amount of us. So it's not a lot of us. And like I say, everything is already written. You know, a lot of us is just not going to get it and just not going to turn away from this Jesus and, you know, just not going to listen. All right. Um, but yeah, so the most high, he's coming back for us, Israel. He's coming back is right here. His prophecies already been written. Like it's already been written. He declared it. He he already saved us because it's already written. It's in the most high word. He's coming back for his people. He's coming back for us. And like I say, it's not going to be long. We need to be preparing if we know, if we're listening to his voice. If we're listening, his voice is the word. If we're listening to his word, his word, the Old Testament, not the New Testament, not Jesus. Jesus is not your God, Israel. I am that I am is your God. All right. Now I'm going to continue to read. And I want to go to, um, let me see. Let's go to Amos. Let's go to Amos chapter five. I want you to turn with me to Amos chapter five. And we're going to read just verse 18. Okay. Woe unto you that desire the day of the Lord to what end is it for you? The day of the Lord is darkness and not light. You hear that, Israel? This is what's going to happen. I mean, this is not a game. The Most High is not playing. Yes, you've been hearing this since 2005 or whatever. whatever. You know, you got the Israelites groups out there, you know, but they're teaching about it's a savior and his name is Jesus, but he black. No, we're not talking about crap like that. We we're, I'm not teaching that. All right. Like I said, I've been there and done that. That stuff right there. I just stay away from it. You know what I'm saying? You have to, it has to be a sign. The most high has you, you gotta, you gotta be led, not, in a way to where you come up upon a video and you hearing something and you just go by what somebody is telling you, you need to understand it's a lot of false prophets out there. And it's a little bit of teachers out there. That's Israel. That's a Hebrew Israelite that's teaching us that we are the children of Israel and that our father is, I am that I am. And he's the only one true creator. A lot of us is not teaching that because it's only a small remnant of us. And that's what we need to understand. OK, so for you all out there that can't wait to this day come, it's, it's not going to be a good day. It's not going to be a joyful day. It's going to be a terrible day. No. No, it's not going to be a good day. Woe means destruction. Don't you know woe means destruction? Destruction unto you that desire the day of the Lord. To what end is it for you? Meditate on that, Israel. I want to go to, um, let's turn to Zechariah. Turn with me to Zechariah chapter 13. We need to really pay attention to our father's word, Israel. Okay, I'm at um, Zechariah 13. And let's start at 7, verse 7. Now, listen to this. This is very important. I want you to read, excuse me, read along with me. Okay. Verse, verse, let's see. Zechariah chapter 13. I'm going to start at verse seven. Awake, O sword, against my shepherd and against the man 
that is my fellow, saith the Lord of hosts. Smite the shepherd and the sheep shall be scattered, and I will turn my hand upon the little ones. And it shall come to pass that in all the land, saith the Lord, two parts therein shall be cut off and die. But the third shall be left therein. And I will bring the third part through the fire and will refine them as silver is refined and will try them as gold is tried. They shall call on my name and I will hear them. I will say it is my people and they shall say the Lord is my God. You hear that Israel? So some of us going to have to go through the fire. Yes. And if you read verse eight, you, you meditate on this. Look at verse eight and read it. It says, and it shall come to pass. This is the most high. And the Most High is saying, and it shall come to pass that in all the land, saith the Lord, two parts therein shall be cut off. All right. Two parts therein, therein shall be cut off and die. Hold on, Israel. 